Good morning and happy Sunday. So we're at CVS to do some deals for the week of December 5th through December 11th. There are so many great deals going on this week. Let me know what your instant coupon was because we were getting one. It was either for Maybelline, CoverGirl, or L'Oreal, I believe. I think on all three of my accounts, it was for Maybelline. So let me know what you got in the comments, but let's get started. CoverGirl is spend 18, get back a $6 extra buck this week. So what I'm gonna do is grab one of these CoverGirl eye lift serums. These are $20.49 at the store. So I have a six off 20 CoverGirl CRT, and then I have two $6 CoverGirl eye serum CRTs. Then I'm gonna use this $3 coupon from the 125 Smart Source. So one of my CRTs will adjust down. So I'm going to pay nothing out of pocket, but get back a $6 extra buck, making this a $6 moneymaker. OGX is buy one, get one half off and buy two, get a $4 extra buck. So I'm going to grab two of them priced at $8.99 each. At the buy one, get one half off price, that's going to total me $13.48. I'm going to add this waterless dry shampoo. So this one here is priced at $5.80 on clearance. All three of these are going to total me $19.28. I'm going to use a four off of 18 hair care CRT. I have a $5 CRT for the waterless. I have a $2 off to printable for the OGX. I also have a two off of two digital that will glitch and come off. And then I also have two separate $2 OGX CRTs. So this is going to bring my total down to $2.28, but I'm going to get back $4 in extra bucks, making everything a $1.72 moneymaker. Paparazzi is on an unadvertised deal for buy two, get back a $5 extra buck. Now I'm hoping it is a limit of two. So what I'm going to do is pick up four of them. That's going to total me $10. I have a $3 off a $7 purchase of paparazzi. So I'll pay seven, but I should get back $10 in extra bucks. I think it might be a limit of two because that's what it has been, but you never know. So hopefully I get back that $10 extra bucks. So that's going to make four of them a $3 moneymaker. Next, I'm going to do the spend 30, get back a $10 extra buck deal. So the Tide fabric sprays are included and they're on sale for $4.99. So I'm gonna grab two of them. Then I'm also gonna grab two of the Tide Pods. They are also on sale for $4.99 each. To finish this deal, I'm gonna grab two of the Airwick. They are buy one, get one half off, and they are priced at $7.79 in my store. All of this is gonna total me $31.64. I have a three off two paper coupon for the fabric sprays. If you read the coupon, they are included in this. And then I also have a $3 off to digital that will also come off. For the pods, I have a $3 off to paper coupon from the December PNG, and I have a three off of two digital that will come off. For the Airwick, I have a $2.75 off one coupon that did expire on the 27th. And for the other one, I have a printable that I previously printed from coupons.com that did expire on the 4th. So this is going to bring my total down to $14.14. .14. I'll get back $10 in extra bucks, and then I'm going to submit my receipt to Ibotta. I'll get back a dollar for each Airwick, making it just $2.14 for all six items. Next, I'm going to do the small breakfast deal. So the General Mills and Pop-Tarts are on sale for $1.99 this week. So four of these are gonna to total me $7.96. That is within the 98% rule that I can use a two off of eight breakfast CRT. I also have a dollar off of two General Mills cereal. So that's gonna bring my total down to $4.96 for all four. Now, if you have that dollar off of two insert coupon for the cereal, I believe it was from the 1121 Smart Source. I do not have that, but it will glitch with the digital coupon. So that would make it a dollar cheaper for you. I'm gonna do another spend 30, get 10 on another card because I really wanna stock up on more of the smell goods. So these are $7.79. Buy one, get one half off. I'm gonna grab three. I'm also gonna grab two of the Tide Pods on sale for $4.99. So all five of these items are gonna to total me $29.45, which is within that 98% rule that my $10 extra buck will still print. 
So 98% of $30 is $29.40. So as long as you're spending at least that or more, your $10 extra buck will still print if your store follows the 98% rule. Most do, but some do not. So for the Tide Pods, I'm using that three off of two paper coupon from the December PNG. I also have a three off of two digital that will glitch and come off as well. For the Airwick, I'm using three of the $2.75 off one coupons that did expire November 27th. I also have a $1.50 in-app coupon for the Airwick. So this will bring my total all the way down to $13.70, getting back $10 in extra bucks. But then I'm going to submit my receipt to my husband's Ibotta, get back a dollar for each Airwick, making all five products only 70 cents. All right, so here we are, guys. So um, the Pop-Tarts are not on sale for $1.99 this week. Um, I must have looked at the website way early when they were still showing $1.99, but yeah, they're not $1.99 this week. Um, but it's okay, we still needed them anyway. My daughter likes to eat those before school for breakfast. So um, I did do three different transactions. So on my first one, I included the breakfast stuff the OGX with the waterless and the spend 30 get 10 that had the two air wick, the two fabric sprays and two Tide Pods. So we'll go over my receipt for that one. So here you see the waterless, the General Mills, $1.99, the antibacterial spray, $4.99, the pods at $4.99, my air wick at buy one get one half off and the OGX at buy one get one half off. And then here are my pop tarts. So there's my three off two for the fabric spray my three off two for the pods, my two 275 coupons for the Airwick, there's my $2 off two for the OGX, my $3 off two for the Tide Pods did also come off, so did my one for the Tide antibacterial spray. My two off two digital for the OGX also came off, my dollar off of two Big G cereals, $5 waterless CRT, four off 18, my two $2 OGX CRTs, two off eight breakfast CRT. I did roll $24 in extra bucks. So on this card, I earned $10 with that epic beauty event. So I rolled $24, had a subtotal of 78 cents. I did get back the $4 for the OGX and $10 for spending 30. So for that transaction, that totaled $24.78 with extra bucks rolled and subtotals. I got back $14 in extra bucks and submitted my receipt to Ibotta. I got back $2.25. I got back a dollar for each Airwick plus a $0.25 cent any receipt. So that makes that transaction a total cost of $8.53. Now, it's not a huge difference, but um, cause they were three sixty nine, dollars So, but that's a lot for some pop tarts, but anyway, so for my second transaction, that was just the paparazzi and the cover girl. So here you see the paparazzi two for five. And then here's my cover girl at 21 49. So that actually went up a whole dollar. I did not even notice that. So there's my $3 coupon for the cover girl, my six off 20 cover girl, my two $6 CRTs for the serum my three off seven paparazzi. And then on this card, I did earn $7 from that beauty event. So my subtotal was $7.49. So for those five products, I paid $7.49 with extra bucks and subtotals, got back $6 for the cover girl, $10 for the paparazzi. So that is a limit of two, so that is nice. So that makes those five products an $8.51 moneymaker. So that's amazing. Then my last transaction just had that spend 30, get 10 with the three Airwick and the two Tide Pods. So for that one, here you see the pods at $4.99 and then my Airwick's here at buy one, get one half off. So there's two of my Airwick coupons, my $3 off two for the pods, my other... Airwick coupon here. My $3 Tide Pods did come off as well as my $1.50 in-app coupon. 
So on this card, I had no extra bucks. This is a brand new card because I'm hoping to get those um, threshold TRTs. I never get them. I haven't gotten any yet, so we'll see. But my subtotal was $13.70. I did put that on a gift card. And I got back my $10 extra buck for spending $30. And they gave me $2 for, um, I think, for it just being a new card. So that was a total of $13.70 getting back $12 in extra bucks, and submitting to Ibotta, I got back $3 for the Airwick. So that makes that entire transaction a $1.30 moneymaker. Now, if I didn't get that $2 back, it would still just be a cost of 70 cents, which is still amazing. So if you look at my moneymakers, the $1.30 and the $8.51, take that and subtract the $8.53 cost that I had in the first transaction, that makes everything a $1.28 moneymaker. Now, if you wanna look at it, since I used um, those free extra bucks that we got for the Epic, Epic Beauty event, um, that would make everything a $19.06 moneymaker. But I didn't wanna put that in my um, thumbnail that it was like a $19 moneymaker because not everybody was getting these, um, the Epic, the free extra bucks. But even so, just as this sits as it is as a $1.28 moneymaker, I am super happy with that. Um, so yeah, that is my haul for this week. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. And until then, stay in coupon mode. Bye guys.